Have you ever wondered what it's like to want to do something and not be able to do it? <laughs> Listen, I do that all the time. Because of a diving accident that paralyzed my hands and legs, I've got to sit in this wheelchair every day. So sometimes when I watch kids jumping and playing or, or dancing and swinging, I, I think about what the word disability means. Now, that's just a fancy way of saying that there are just some things a person can't do, or see, or hear, or even think. So let's play a game for a moment. I want you to imagine, just for a little bit, that you can't stand up to salute the flag, <laughs> or you can't hear your favorite songs on the cassette recorder. What would it be like? <laughs> Some of my friends played this game. They all dressed up in bandages and braces and pretended that they were disabled. Now, it's hard not to be able to, to bounce a basketball or climb up on monkey bars when you're disabled. Everybody needs friends to help. Shooting the basketball right now around the around the hoop. Okay. Go ahead, David. Shoot it up. Shoot it up. Let's go. Let's go. Shoot it up quickly. Quickly now. That's it. Not too easy with that one arm, is it? All right, Tim. Shoot it up. Shoot it up. That's it. Good. That's good. Here we go. Come on, Robbie. Shoot it up. Come on, Robbie. Shoot it up. That's it. That's it. All right. Go. Pass it off, pass it off. Here you go, Russell. Shoot it up. Go. Your turn, your turn. Get that ball going. Whoa. Keep it going. That's it. Let's go on in now, you guys. That's it. Stay closer. Come on, Joy. Move the wheelchair in. All right, Russell, if you get the door for us, then we can follow in with the wheelchair. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Russell. Now, I know earlier you all had an opportunity to learn what it meant to be handicapped. I saw you out on the playground. You were out there with your bandages and with your crutches and with your wheelchairs and I saw it. But Ken and I would like to know what you experienced and what you went through. So can I see a couple of hands? Who would like to tell us? Ken? Okay, William. What do you have well, to say? Like when, my, when my arm was taped, it was like, like I know how people, they can't move their arms. and like I had trouble climbing on the monkey bars and stuff. Mm. It was hard, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I had to go like this, and I couldn't lose my arm. You had all your fingers taped into you with little sticks. I saw you out there. Was it hard to play basketball? Not that much. <laughs> How did it make you feel, Tim? It didn't feel kind of weird. Mm, kind of weird. Okay. How Were you feel? frustrated, too, Tim? Kind of when I couldn't climb up the monkey bars. Great. Oh, great. What are some other feelings? Russell, in the back. Well, I had my arm brace and I couldn't bend it. I couldn't even lift it and it was... It really made you think about it. I mean... You see somebody, like, on the bus or something and they're handicapped and you don't really think about it. It's just another person. There's nothing wrong with them. And then when you're handicapped and you can't do something, it makes you think about it. Now, if you all had to choose one word to describe how you felt, what word would you choose? 
Let's see, Sonny, why don't you tell us what you feel? Terrible. Terrible? Terrible. What other words? Sean? Miserable. Miserable? How about you, Sue? Frustrated. Frustrated? That's a good one. Oh, that's a good word, yes. Hands down, because you've all told us how you felt to be disabled. But the one nice thing about your disability is that you took it off, didn't you? You took your blindfolds off, you put your crutches away, you got out of the wheelchair. But unfortunately, I can't do that. And I'm in this wheelchair. And I've been in it for about, oh, 16 years now. A long time. But let me describe to you a little bit about what it's like to be disabled. Now, there are all kinds of disabilities. There are people who are blind, people who can't hear, uh, people who can't uh, walk very well. Like you. Right, like me. I can't walk very well. But let me tell you just about what it's like for me to be in a wheelchair. First, I broke my neck. Now, I want you to feel the back of your necks. Feel those little bones back there? Okay, start right at the bottom of your skull and count down four little bones. Four little bones. Right back there. Right back here. Right. Now, see that fourth bone? Yeah. That's the one I broke. Now, what do you all think it means to break your necks? Yes, Timmy? It's like, um, like it's a spinal, spinal cord. Um, to your body, so it paralyzes from your neck down. That's good. Okay, Timmy up front said there's a spinal cord, and when it gets hurt, it paralyzes you from the neck down. You know when you talk to somebody on a telephone, mm -hmm. there's a wire that connects your telephone yeah. with the telephone of your friend? Well, what do you think would happen if that wire got snapped? I know. Yes. You can't talk to the telephone. Right, you can't talk on the telephone because the message doesn't get through. And that's kind of like what happened to me when I broke my neck. It's almost as though my cord, the wires in the back of my neck, snapped. And the messages could no longer go from my brain to my fingers or from my brain down to my feet. So although my head is telling my legs to move, the message can't get through because the wires have been broken. And that's just part of what it means to be in a wheelchair. Now I can't move my feet. I can't move my legs. I can't move my fingers or hands. But I can move my arm a little bit. Now, one nice thing about being handicapped, though, is when you have friends who understand. And I love it when friends come up to me and greet me. You've got any suggestions on how to greet somebody who, who's in a wheelchair? When you uh, greet someone in a wheelchair, it's not any different than greeting anyone else. And I think the real key for everyone to remember is that you greet them as normally as possible. Okay, we have some real neat friends who are in wheelchairs. And again, they're not any different than you or I. Let's go on and talk a little bit about some of the things I can do. We've talked about the things oh. I can't do. Oh. Wait a minute, put your hands down because we want to show you some things I first. I can't use my hands, can I? But what do you think I can do? Oh. Yes. Can I can draw with my mouth. You want to show them how we do that? Let's do that. Great. It's going to be fun. Well, but now, I must tell you, when I was first injured and couldn't use my hands, I didn't like the idea of putting a pen in my mouth. Oh. Okay? Now, see, what I'm doing is I'm being Johnny's easel and just holding, holding the paper steady so that she, so that she can do this. And boy, does he make a good easel. <laughs> he so, really does. See? That's how I do it. And at first, I felt really sad because I couldn't use my hands. But then I figured to myself, well, why not? I mean, you know, if I can't use my hands, at least I can learn how to do things with my mouth. Now, I don't have use of my hands. And I've talked about that. But let's show them why I don't. Now, if we take Johnny's braces off, you see what happens to her hands. It, it just hangs there loosely. See, no muscles. No muscles. And there's nothing to keep her hand from, from dropping like that. So that's why we use this brace to help her. Now, there are some special things that I'm able to do with this brace. And one special thing is that I'm able to feed myself just like anybody else. You want to get this work on? And I'll show you how I do this. My husband takes a spoon. You see how it has a special little part of the brace that's sewed here? It's a little extra piece. Oh, I know. And you slide that 
in the position. Now, see? Let's pretend I'm sitting at a table, and with real good shoulder muscles, I can scoop up my food, and then with other shoulder muscles, I'm able to lift that spoon to my mouth, and then put it down, Why and then lift it up. Like that? OK? Heather? How do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> How do you go to the bathroom? That's a good question, and one that a lot of people ask. I'll tell you a secret, though. See this bag on the side of my leg? You almost can see the outline. You want to touch it, Ken? Just right in through right. here. You it's a that? bag, and it's long. And there's a tube that connects to my bladder. And whenever I have to go to the bathroom, thankfully, I've got the bathroom with me. How did he treat you? You know, I just wanted to be treated normal, like most handicapped people. People with disabilities have fears. They want to make friends. They have prayer requests. Uh, they have a lot to give and a lot to share. They have a lot to say. And they just want to be treated like anybody else. Well, we're, we're running out of time now. And we have a couple of more things we want to say. Wait a minute, we have something we want to tell you. Because you, you've just been so great. And I know that I like to be friends with people who are on their feet. It means a lot. When people come up to me and want to shake my hand or touch my shoulder or touch my wheelchair, it means a lot that they don't stare and don't point. We want you to understand that God's love pours out to all people. It doesn't matter if they're on their feet and it doesn't matter if they're in a wheelchair. God wants us to love others. How about a couple of hugs? Can I have like one yes. hug? Okay, can I have a hug from you, Sue? Would you come on up here and give me a hug? Oh, that's so neat. Oh, that was fun. We'll tell you. How about another hug? Alvin, you look like you're a good hugger. Don't you think so? I think Alvin's a great hugger. Neat. Big hug. Oh. oh, that's so good. Did you see that little boy who almost pulled me out of the wheelchair when he gave me his hug? Wow, that's the kind of hug I love getting. In fact, I know you would have given me just as good a hug if you had been there. I can tell you would have had no problem coming right up to me and just being my friend. Uh, but may I ask you a question? Do you think you could be just as friendly, uh, just as outgoing with a disabled kid in your church or the blind classmate in your school? Or how about that mentally handicapped kid in your neighborhood? I hope so. <laughs> I know so. <laughs> because with God's help, we don't have to be afraid of people who are different. We are all special. Da 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 da